Hey, good morning, friends. Brad Smith here from The Way. So hopefully you all had a great Thanksgiving. I had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday perhaps. I love the uh, assembling of family and friends uh, over food. Obviously, I love food. <laughs> and I just love everything about Thanksgiving. And so hopefully you were blessed this week as I was. So hey, this week at The Way, we are concluding our sermon series entitled Challenged as we examine what it means to live a life of missional obedience. Now, our anchor verse for the, for the series is Acts chapter 1, verse 8, Jesus' last words to the disciples before the ascension, when he says, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, all of Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And we focus like a laser upon the requirement of Christians to make disciples of their children. If we truly want or if we truly want revival in this nation, then we will get serious about making disciples of our children. And then we expanded the aperture some and say, well, hey, what about all these other children that don't have anyone to make disciples of them, the fatherless, and that we ought to be opening our homes and bringing these children into our homes to make disciples of them, to bring them up in the way of the Lord. And then last week we talked about Samaria and, hey, who are the people that you hate or that you don't have a natural affinity for? Now, let's not talk about race. Race is too easy. That's like juvenile. I mean, who are the people that you truly uh, do not have an affinity for? You just don't naturally want to be with those people. Those should be people you should be deliberately seeking out to bring them the gospel. And this week, we're going to talk about the ends of the earth, which uh, naturally makes us think about missionaries. And I know some missionaries. Perhaps you do as well. And uh, I love missionaries. Uh, I got a friend named TJ Lindsay down in Lima, Peru, runs Heart of Christ Ministries, one of my favorite people in the world. He's just a good, good brother in Christ. Uh, but I'm not so sure that the modern connotations of missionaries is biblical. There's an issue, and what I'm talking about is delineation. You know, that missionaries are like the varsity Christians, and the rest of us second and third stringers here in the rear, you know, we don't have to do anything. We just let the varsity Christians uh, take care of getting to the ends of the earth, and we have no responsibility whatsoever. I'm not sure that that is biblical. And so this week, we're going to examine the idea of being an ordinary missionary. Ordinary missionary. But really, what I want to get to is the fuel, what drives us in this pursuit. Now we are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Jesus is clear there. But what is it that motivates us? What is it that drives us? And what it has to be, what we got to be careful of, is that it has to be the gospel. No, we're going this way, buddy. But, but we'll go back that way in a minute. Hold on, let me finish talking. It has to be the gospel. The gospel has to motivate us. It has to move us uh, to fulfill this great commission. And so when I look at my children, I don't make disciples out of them out of some sort of uh, duty or obligation. It's because I look at them and I see them for what they are as, as sinners separated from Christ and desperately in need of a Savior. And so that's why I bring them up as disciples. When I look at these fatherless children, I don't I don't get them out of, you know, open my home to them out of some religious mechanical kind of duty. No, I look at them and I see sinners who are not reconciled to God and they don't have much time and, and they don't have a father or a family to teach them. And so it's imperative that I do this. When I look at the Samaritans, again, I don't see my enemies. I don't see people I don't like. I don't see people maybe I even hate. I see people that don't know the risen Lord Jesus. Jesus and they're desperate for him and the same thing when I when I think about the ends of the earth when I think about the ends of the earth I think about the billions of people around the globe that do not know the Lord Jesus and apart from him they have no hope and because I love God and I love them I want to see them reconciled and so is the gospel that has to motivate me to do this otherwise it's just this it works it's a religious mechanical religious duty and it, and it really doesn't mean anything to God. So hey, if you're in Clarksville, uh, come see us at The Way this weekend. Uh, otherwise, find a church, get there. And as always, if you're a man, take your families to church. And otherwise, have a great weekend. God bless.